seen the Griffey's are. A father and son play Major League Baseball together. One is 40 and the other 20. They beat the odds. It was really a great story on both ends. For Junior to get to the big league so quickly at the age of 19, the previous year in 1989, now in 1990 at the end of that year to play with his father and for his father to still be productive at the age of 40. In his 18th Major League season, Griffey Sr., a career 296 hitter. I'm probably the only person or father to hear this from the on-deck circle was, come on, Dad. Sons of the play. This is history. The reunion of father and son. The improbability. One of those things is I would never see that in my lifetime. with your son and with your dad. As a kid, without a father, something that uh, that would have been a dream come true. The Griffies were in the same batting order and the same outfit, making one moment all but inevitable. Oh, no, don't don't talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. That just grounded him. You, just, you want me to talk about him getting grounded, don't you? When I first got in the outfield, I said, I'm going to cover three square feet and the rest is yours. Sammy shoots a high fly out of the left center. Junior just kind of drifts over and just snatched it, just cool as can be. And his dad's sitting there trying to catch this ball. I started ducking because I didn't know where the ball was. I thought I was going to get hit in the head. I didn't think it was funny. So what I did was I dropped off the field, got in, into the dugout. I said, uh, come here. I said, you're grounded. And I took the car keys from him. They were the talk of baseball and having plenty of fun along the way. Most unforgettably on a September night in 1990, when senior and junior made even more history. Whose home run was better between you and Grandpa? Oh, gosh. Oh. Uh, mine was better. Because? What was mine. better? Because he had no pressure. He already hit it, and he touched home plate. He was like, that's how you do it, son. Kent's had some success against the Angels when he was in the American League prior to joining the Mariners. Fly ball sliced to fairly deep left center field. Deep ball right back to the track. The wall makes the leap, and the old man has done it one more time. Fly away. So the night in Anaheim, after senior homers, we're high-fiving at home, and we're walking back to the dugout, and I said to him, Junior does it right here, man. We got history back to back, father and son. Such a short period of time. It seems like senior and junior have done so many things as a first for father and son, but they haven't done a back to back home run truck yet. 3 0 pitches hit deep in the left center field, and the ship will look up, and father and son have hit back to back home runs. My, oh my, it's that in your baseball history book. The first time in history that a father son combo had hit back to back home runs. So yours was better. Mine was better because he was already. Ain't nobody yeah, was on. We asked Grandpa, what's he gonna say? Gonna say his was. He gonna say his went further. I say mine went out faster. <laughs> he he just hit a little line drive, just went over the wall, and I hit straight away center field. So I I had the most pop that day. I was there that day. What I remember about the game is, is is certainly the two home runs, but the the fun that Ken Griffey Jr. was having playing with his dad, their joy of just being with each other as dad and son was something that you'd never seen, and it was so special that you just had to appreciate it, you just had to enjoy it, recognize the specialness of it between two people. There it is. I uh, hope you guys enjoy that. Obviously, I <laughs> I didn't get Ken Griffey Sr. or Jr. Uh, through TTM, but that would uh, that would have been a fantastic. But I thought that little piece uh, basically captured it, it, that whole father-son dynamic uh, through baseball. Um, it kind of goes with the theme here. But none of these players were as lucky as the Griffeys to play together, which uh, must have been an amazing uh, uh, thrill uh, for the both of them. So uh, 
Hope you like that. All right, so let's get right to it. Ready for five minutes in here. All right, this first uh, player. This comes from San Bernardino, California. This was a four of two free. Signed two index cards over 21 days. He played in the bigs from 1969 through 1980. And his son, Jason, played in the bigs from 1996 through 2010. And as you may have guessed, sorry, this is a six of four. I apologize. Mr. Fred Kendall. There he is on the, 60, on the 76 tops. 72 tops. I think that's his rookie. I could be wrong. On the 79 tops. And the 1980 tops, and he was generous enough to sign two index cards. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Mr. Kendall, for taking the time. All right. So our next one. I was actually able to get both father and son, so this was cool. All right. So, Dad, this is a six of four. He played in the big leagues from 1953 through 1971 and his son played in the bigs from 1983 through 1996 fun little tidbit the se senior is actually the grandfather of Jason Worth while his son is obviously the uncle of Jason Worth which is pretty cool and dad played in the bigs from 53 to 71 and he is Mr. Dick Schofield. And this was also a 6 of 4 from Springfield, Illinois. And it was 91 days, no fee. There he is on the 60 tops. It's a great looking card. There he is on the 70 tops. And I was able to get this awesome card signed by both. That's fantastic. And one more signed by just Senior. And he was cool enough to sign two index cards. Let's, oh, jeez. I can mess. Let's put this here. And let's showcase that one. That's awesome. And as you would have guessed, his son also, Dick. Well, technically, Richard Schofield and John Richard Schofield is, uh, is his dad. And he was a 4 of 4 out of mid-Missouri, Mizzou, free 29 days. And there he is on the 86 tops, 85 tops, and the 88 Donruss. And we'll put him there. Alrighty, next up, this next player pay, played in the bigs from 1970 through 1988. And some of those great Astros teams. And his son, who was a junior, played in the Bigs from 1997 through 2008. And this is one of one $5 per 13 days out of North Houston, Texas. Mr. Jose Cruz. And Jose Cruz Jr. is his son. There he is on the 73 tops. So thank you, Mr. Cruz. Next up, this player... Played in the bigs from 1991 through 1998. He's also the former Phillies GM and famous for being a character on the uh, show The Goldbergs. And his dad played in the big leagues from 58 through 69. And this was from Philly PA, 3 of 3, no fee, 65 days. There he is, Ruben Amaro Jr. And his dad is Ruben Amaro Sr. There's on the 92 Donners, the rookies. And 92 flare. All right, cool. Thank you, Mr. Morrow Jr. Goldberg's is a pretty funny show if you haven't checked it out. All right, next up. This one comes to us from North Texas, Dallas, Texas. Five of five, no fee, 25 days. This player played in the big leagues from 1986 through 2001. His son is a current member of the Kansas City Royals with a very bright future. As you probably guessed, there's Bobby Witt Sr., and Junior being his son. And there he is on the great looking stadium club, 1994. There he is on the 94 yep, tops, the H. Shout out to, shout out to Isaac and Brandon. There he is on the 94 
upper deck collector's choice. There's uh, this one is 95, 95 tops. It's a member of the Marlins, and of course the 88 tops. The former Olympic team member. Very cool. Thank you, Mr. Witt. All right, next up. This player played in the bigs from 1978 through 1989. And his dad played from 1939 through 1957. This was a 4-4, 210 days, no fee out of Charleston, South Carolina. And he is Mr. Steve Trout. There he is on 86 tops, his dad being Dizzy Trout. There he is on the 84. The best specs in baseball. 82 tops. There he is on the 85 tops. Very cool. Thank you, Mr. Trout. Much appreciated. All right. Next up, this next player played in the big leagues from 1984 through 1992. His dad played in the bigs from 61 to 63. But his dad, cool little tidbit, was also a NBA ABA referee who then went on to be an AL umpire for for many years from 68 through 84 which is very cool and that player is Jeff Conkle his dad being Bill Conkle there is on the 85 flare 85 Donruss 85 tops and there's the cool father son card with him and he wrote praise the Lord very good God bless you uh Mr. Conkle, very cool. That is awesome. Thank you so much, for sir. And that was out of North Texas, Texas, and there was no fee for those. Very cool. All right, next up. This next player played in the big leagues from 1962 through 1970. His uh, son played from 19, 1984 through 1987, sorry. And this was a three of one. Five dollar fee, and he is Mr. Jose Tarble. There he is on the 62 Tops rookie card. He was nice enough to sign two index cards. That looks great. Thank you so much, Mr. Tarble. All right, next up, Kansas City, Missouri. A three of three, no fee, 34 days. This player. Played in the big leagues from 1963 through 1977. And his son uh, played. So actually, this is a 4 of 3. Apologies. He actually signed the next card. And his son played in the bigs from 1990 through 2004. And he is Diego Segui. And this on the 70 tops. ERA leaders. 1971 tops. Very cool. There he is on the 74 tops traded. 73 tops. And the index card. And his son is David. Had a little stint with the Mets as well. Alrighty. Let's move it along. Alright, next up we have a 3 of 3. He's now charging $5 per. This was 13 days out of Santa Clarita, California. Postmarked. And this player played in the big leagues from 1980 through 1991. His dad was a major league pitcher from 1950 through 1967. And a former Cy Young Award winner, Mr. Vance Law. And his dad being Vernon Law. There is an 81 tops rookie. And two 85 Donruss cards. Looks great. Thank you so much, Mr. Law. Much appreciated. All right, keep it moving. This next player... Played in the big leagues from 1974 through 1982. His son played in from 2004 to 2015. This is from Tampa, Florida, St. Petersburg. A four of two. Signed two next cards. No fee. 30 days. He is Mr. Steve Swisher on the 75 tops. There he is on the 81 tops. And he signed two index cards. Danny, best wishes always. Very cool. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Swisher. And his son being Nick Swisher. Oof, running out of room here. 
All right. Next up, this next player played in the bigs from 1990 through 1999. His dad uh, played from 68 through 87. It was also a former big league manager. And this comes to us from Kansas City. Mizzou, 3 of 3, no fee, 78 days. Mr. Brian McRae, his dad being Hal. There is a 95 Pinnacle. There is a top stadium club. 92 and 93 Leaf. Well, it came out great. Fantastic. Thank you, Mr. McRae. And finally, sorry this has gone so long. This next player played from, in the bigs from 1970 through 1979. And his son played from 97 to 2005. This was 2 of 2. Free, 10 days out of North Texas, Texas. He was also awesome enough to answer some questions for me. He is Mr. Tom Grieve. There he is on the 75 tops. That autograph still looks the same. It's amazing. And there he is on the 1979 tops in the right uniform. He was awesome enough to answer questions. So, so we asked him, uh, it was a better ball player, you or Ben? <laughs> I won't tell him. Ben, easy. Ben did put up better numbers. And favorite Mets moment, meeting and becoming friends with Bobby Valentine. That is so cool. Bobby V, who's actually a uh, analyst now for the Angels. I don't know if he's doing the post-game or pre-game. I can't remember. But uh, I believe he's uh, working for the Angels now. So good luck to him. And uh, there we go. ton of returns today. So thanks for sticking with me. I know this was a long one. I apologize. I uh, appreciate all the support as always. You, everyone's great. Thank you so much. And uh, I don't know. Enjoy your holiday if I don't uh, talk to you, to anyone. And I uh, appreciate it as always. Like I said, thank you so much. And I will see everyone next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.